Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we are going to take a look at how to install the official Nothing OS stock firmware on your Nothing phones and the CMF phone. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, I have the Nothing phone 1 and I'm going to install stock Nothing OS 3, the latest build available uh, that I'm going to show you how to download all that stuff is in the video. So go through all of the video to know how to download stuff, how to install it properly without skipping any part. So yeah, you can check all the links in the description to download all the stuff. And through the video guide, you can easily flash the firmware. So let's first start uh, with the PC. So this is my PC and I have downloaded all the files which I'm going to show you how to download each and every file. So this is my nothing OS firmware folder. As you can see, there are some five zip files uh, which I have uh, set here. Let me just focus properly on this. Okay, so these are the five zip files which I have downloaded and these are the firmware files. Now to download these files, you have to go to XTA. So the link is in the description. So as you can see, nothing OS archive and you have all the uh, stock images. Uh, so this is the, you can see the repo link, the repository link is here. So you can see nothing archive and coming down. Here you have the downloads, click on downloads. And you can see the device's name, nothing phone one, nothing phone two, the phone two A, 2A plus, 3A, 3A Pro and CMF phone 1. So all these devices are supported and if you have any issues regarding that, you can easily flash the stock firmware through here. So what you have to do is click on your phone name, then you have all of the OT images available. Now this is the 3rd March update which was latest, uh, the latest update post to the nothing phone 1. So I'm going to download this, click here on OT images, you can see this here button highlighted. You just have to click there and now you have to come down below uh, let me just adjust the focus for a minute okay and now you can see there are these files uh, one there's an image firmware file there's a boot file there's a logical file so you have to download all these three logical parts you can see one two and three and then this firmware and this boot file these are the five files which are required to be downloaded now you have to as you can see, I have already downloaded these to again add just the focus. Okay. Now you have to extract this, uh, all the, all the content in the similar folder. Now after extracting all the content in a single folder, you have to download the flash script. Now the flash script is in here. You just have to go back and, uh, let's just check up here. So unlocking bootloader, uh, so you can see, um, okay, this is the fast boot flashing script. I'll provide a separate link here so you can directly visit this. You can see nothing and CMF fast boot flashing scripts. And this is for the phone one, the phone two, phone two A and two A plus, then phone three A and three A pro. So there are the different scripts. So you have to download. Uh, so if you are, you have, you, are, you have bash option, you have windows option, you can choose. And for the phone one, we have the windows option. So I'm using the windows option, obviously. And you can see for the phone one, I will download the script. Now you will get this uh, file and you will get confused from where to download this. So you just have to click here. You can see download the uh, raw file. And you can see the script, the batch file is here, download it. And I have already downloaded it and you just have to copy the batch file, flash all file in the extracted all the, you know, where you have con extracted all the content of the firmware. So you have to just place it here. Now it's time to move towards your phone. So you can see on your phone, you have to power off your device. Now, obviously it's powered off, it's bricked or if it is, uh, you know, soft bricked or if it has some issues and or you just have to move to the uh, stock ROM. Uh, you can install uh, via this way. So you have to press the volume down and the power button at the same time and leave it when the screen comes. So as you can see, this is the bootloader mode and you have to connect the device uh, to the PC and just leave it there. Okay, let me just add just this so it will get in front of the camera. Okay, nice. Now what you have to do is again, uh, 
yeah you just have to open the flash all you have to run the script okay let me just get it at the center yeah this is good okay so the first question it asks as is your device bootloader or unlocked so you have to press yes or no it is going to check for pre requirements and obviously you have messed up your device it means it is unlocked or obviously this stuff won't happen so you have to press is your device unlocked yes then are you in bootloader mode so yes we are in the bootloader mode so yes uh, are your fast boot drivers properly installed can you see android bootloader interface so yeah if your fast boot drivers are properly installed you can check the device manager if it's properly installed and your device has been connected you can also check it uh, using cmd and check it via fast boot devices so mine is uh, properly detected so yes and you can see it says if you want to wipe data or not so i have always wiped data like if you are updating or doing something else and you want the data then you can click on no but i want to wipe my data so yes and it will uh, you know do some stuff now it says flashing boot partitions and it is saying flashing Im images on both slots if unsure say no so we are just going to click no and i advise you guys if you are unsure about any of this just follow whatever they say click no now it says disable android verified boot if unsure say no bootloader won't be lockable if you select yes so if you are selecting uh, to disable the android verified boot you have to say no so just click n and you can see now your device has started rebooting again into fast boot mode now it will boot into fast boot d so it will flash all the system images the vendor and all the stuff and let's skip it right now i will wait until the fast boot d comes up and as you can see you are entered into the fast boot mode and the flashing process has started so we'll just skip some of the part because it is just flashing so guys as you can see the flashing process has been finished you can uh, see here rebooting so it says reboot to system if unsure say yes so obviously we are going to click yes and your nothing phone one has started to reboot so guys in the script uh, at the end it says stock firmware has been restored and you can now optionally relock the bootloader obviously if you haven't disabled android verified boot so yeah you just have to click enter and the window will go and as you can see your nothing phone or whatever the device you are you have the 2a 2a plus 3a 3a pro or the cmf phone one uh, will start to reboot and yep it will show you the boot animation in some seconds and you can see just as we are saying we are uh watching the boot animation go and your device will uh boot shortly in a few one or two minutes and then you can set up your device and enjoy the stock firmware restoration as you can see while we are just about to end the video the nothing os has been flashed properly on your nothing phone one and you can do this on your nothing device or your cfm device cmf device sorry not cfm device uh, very easily using this fast boot so that was it for this video oops yeah that's now good so i hope you guys this guide is a very uh, uh helpful guide for you guys and that was it like there was nothing else to show just restoration of your stock firmware so that if you have messed up somewhere then you can easily restore it and enjoy your device again so i hope you guys liked the video if you did press the like button if not the dislike button is there all the feedback comments will be in the comment section and if you have to watch some more videos about the nothing phone one or any other devices that i have then you have to subscribe to my channel for more such content and obviously if you have a uh, suggestion for any other content on the nothing phone one that like if you are stuck somewhere if you want help then you can comment down below comment down below in the comment section and also you can message me and also join our telegram group that is a very good way so that other users will also be alerted and also follow me on instagram and if you want to help the channel you can join my membership channel membership it's set it to minimum per month so yeah you can offer some help and you will get some benefits there are some benefits you can check it out uh, afterwards when you are about to join if you want to or that's that is also fine too so that's it goodbye 
see you guys and take care bye bye